Hey guys, welcome back to Montevue. Today we're going to be showing you how to upgrade the firmware on your Montevue cameras. Now typically you would want to do this if your camera is experiencing issues or glitches because that is the primary reason we release these updates is to fix those known issues. Another reason you'd want to upgrade your camera firmware is if you have recently purchased a new NVR and it requires the latest and greatest firmware to be on those cameras in order to be compatible. A big misconception here is that we add camera firmware upgrades to enhance features or to add features to the camera. And that is not necessarily the case. So the old adage of if it ain't broke, don't fix it really comes into play here when we're dealing with camera firmware. So if your guys' cameras are operating perfectly normal, don't upgrade the firmware. There's no reason to just keep it going like it is. If you guys do need to upgrade your firmware, continue watching this video and we're going to show you the three different methods on how to do that. So our first method is straight through the NVR interface. In order to do this, you're going to need access to your NVR directly. Then you're going to need a USB flash drive and a computer. This can be a Mac or a PC. So first off, what we're going to do is we're going to log into your computer and we're going to open up any web browser. Then head over to Montevue.com, which is our primary website. And once you're there, look towards the top of the page and we want to go to the Help Center. Once we're in the Help Center, we're going to scroll down and we're going to find the category called Firmware Upgrades or Updates. Once we select that, then it's going to be divided into two categories, NVR and Camera Upgrades. So obviously we're going to choose Camera. Once we have that open, it's going to show you a list of all available upgrades for all of our Montevue camera types. So just find your correct model. And for this example, we're going to be doing the MTT 8108 AISMD AD, better known as our active deterrence camera. So once we find that on the list here, we are going to look to the right and you're going to see this blue lettering to the right of that category. This is the actual firmware file. And if you left click it, it should start the download. Now the last few digits on this blue number indicates what date this patch was released. So if this supersedes what you guys currently have as firmware, then you should be able to download it to your camera and upgrade it just fine. If it's older than what you guys currently have, it won't be able to be taken by your camera and we'll have to find an alternative for you guys. So once you've got that downloaded to your guys' computer, go ahead and look at your recent downloads and we should see this file. Now it is a very strange file type. If you try to open it, no computer is going to be able to recognize this. This is normal. We don't necessarily want to open it on your computer. I advise against this. We simply just want to use your computer as a transfer medium to that USB flash drive. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to drag and drop this from your recent downloads and we're going to put it on that USB flash drive that we have plugged in. Once it's in the USB flash drive, go ahead and right click and choose eject so we can safely remove it from the computer. Once it's out of the computer, we're going to take it over to the NVR and you have multiple USB ports to choose from. Essentially, you have one in the back, one in the front, so choose whichever one your mouse is not plugged into. Once we insert the USB into the NVR, we're gonna get this little pop-up here. You guys can just right-click on the mouse to make this go away. Then we wanna to go to the main menu, select camera from here. Then we wanna be on the camera list. And finally, we're gonna select the update tab at the top. Once we're in the update section, we can now choose our camera or our channel. And we want to do this by selecting this little box here and putting a white check mark in there. Once we've selected our camera, we want to hit file update. And it's going to pop up with this uh, saying, basically we need to stop recording for this particular channel in order to update the camera. So we're going to say okay to that. The next screen is going to show information regarding our USB. First of all, it's going to show you how much space you have on top and it's gonna show you any files that are on that USB on the bottom. Once we've chosen that file, we're gonna press OK. Now we're just gonna wait for that update to implement to the camera, and we should see the progress under the status bar here. And when everything's done, it should say update successful. Once it says update successful in the status column, we know we're good to go. That camera has been fully upgraded, and we're done with this procedure. The next method we're going to take a look at is how to add it from a PC in the same network as your NVR. How this works is we're going to log into your NVR's IP address from your computer's web browser. So all we have to do is we have to get that IP address first. So to do that, I'd like you to go to your NVR, select main menu, 
Then we want to go to network and under TCP slash IP, we can see our IP address here. We want to write this number down and then next we want to go to that computer, open up a web browser and type that number in exactly as it appears in your address bar. Make sure we're not doing a Google search, but we want to put it in the address bar at the very top. Once you've got that, go ahead and hit enter and it should take you to a web login screen for your NVR. This time we want to just use our standard admin username and the password for your guys' NVR. Once we're in the system, we want to click on setting here in the upper left corner. Then we're going to choose camera. Then we're going to choose camera list. And finally, we're going to go to update up here. Once we're in the update section, just like before, we're going to select our camera or channel in the box here. Once we've chosen the correct camera that we wish to update, next we need to browse the computer for the proper firmware file. So up here where it says browse, we're going to click that. We're going to go to recent downloads and here we're going to find that file listed up top. Once we selected that, we're going to choose there and it's going to show up in this box. And then next we can select online update here in the bottom right corner to initiate that upload. It's going to ask us to stop recording for this channel just temporarily while we upgrade it. So we're going to press OK. And with this version, we actually see a status percentage update within this column. And once we see update succeeded, you're done. Your camera should be fully upgraded and we can call it quits. The final method I'm going to show you guys today is for those of you with standalone cameras or if your cameras are on a POE switch, basically not plugged into the NVR. So how this works is we're going to log directly into the camera's interface via the IP address using a computer that's in the same network as that camera. So first off, we want to ascertain the IP address for this camera, and we can do this a couple ways. The two ways we can find an IP address for a camera, one of them is to use the IP config tool that's available for download on our website. This scans your entire network and will come back with all the information regarding that camera, including the IP address. Another way to get an IP address is if you guys do have it attached to Montevue Go desktop, or if you have it going through an NVR, you can go to the camera list on either Montevue Go desktop or the camera list on the NVR. And this will show you all of the IP addresses associated with those cameras. So once we have that IP address, I want you guys to go over to your computer, open up any web browser, and we're gonna type in this IP address at the very top in the address bar. Again, we're, not, we're making sure we're not doing the Google search, but we wanna do the address bar at the very top. So once you type in that IP address, go ahead and hit enter. Once we hit enter, we're going to be presented with this login screen with a username and a password section. So here's where you'd want to use the admin username, A-D-M-I-N, all lowercase. And of course you want to use the password you give in your camera. If you guys have this attached to an NVR through the network, then you're going to use the NVR's password. Should be applicable for this camera. Once you've logged into the camera, we're going to click on setting up here in the upper right corner. Next, if we look over to the left side, we're going to see system. Go ahead and click that. Then we're going to choose upgrade. And just like before, we're going to browse for that file within the recent downloads. So once we've selected that, it should show up in this box here. And then we simply just want to press upgrade. Once you press upgrade, it's actually going to give you a status update, a little status bar. And once that's finished, the camera will reboot. You guys may lose this IP address or you might lose the website. It's only going to be temporary just while the camera reboots. So basically just keep hitting that refresh button until it comes back up with the login page. Once you guys see the login page or once the camera pops back up on your NVR, you're good to go. This procedure is done and your camera should be fully upgraded. All right, guys, that's all the info I have for camera upgrades. If you guys have any questions on this or if you ran into any obstacles, give our tech support a call. We're here Monday through Friday to answer any questions you guys have. We can walk you through this if you want. Uh, I know it's a little bit complicated sometimes, so we definitely understand if you guys need some support. I hope everything went smooth for you guys and you're looking at brand new upgraded cameras. I always appreciate you guys checking out the channel. And if you guys have any further questions, please reach out to us. We're happy to answer anything you guys have for us. As always, thank you for checking out Monoview. Like and subscribe down below. It's very much appreciated. And you guys have a great day.